It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News News Briefs, brought to you by Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. In our top story, the Colonial Pipeline has reopened while the Mississippi River remains closed just to the north of us. That's just ahead, along with some area birthdays. 55,000 Mississippians are set to lose their COVID-related unemployment benefits on June the 12th. This happens while Governor Tate Reeves is asking for $2 billion in COVID-related subsidies for various projects. In our top story, the Colonial Pipeline has reopened. We should see the effects of it trickle down over the next few days, and gas supplies should replenish shortly. Meanwhile, the Mississippi River at Memphis remains closed as the Hernando de Soto Bridge over the Mississippi River that connects Arkansas and Tennessee remains closed. A six-inch crack was discovered on Tuesday afternoon. It's caused a bridge closure. It remains to be seen how long this will stay in effect. Meanwhile, commercial barge traffic is stopped at either side of the bridge, and commercial vehicle traffic is being rerouted both north and south of the interstate system. Taking a look at our sports, brought to you by Abe's Tires. You can buy tires a lot of places these days, but where can you buy great service? There's only one place, and that's Abe's Tires on 61 North. Brands like Michelin, Cooper, and more. Check them out online at abestire.com. Former Vicksburg High School player Taylon Smith originally signed with Jones Community College. He has rescinded that and will be headed to play on the hardwood at Mississippi College. He said after a lot of thought and prayer, he feels that MC is a better fit for him. He averaged 15 points per game and was the Vicksburg Daily News Player of the Year in the basketball category. Wilson Carroll has been named the new swim coach at Vicksburg Catholic School. He's a practicing attorney and was a competitive swimmer while in college at Harvard. He's also the president of the Fostoria Association. Samuel Terrett and Samantha Smith were named the most valuable players in the Warren Central Cross Country Track and Field team at their recent banquet. Congratulations going out to both. Taking a look at our weather brought to you by Patriot Motorsports. Now's the perfect time to be shopping for that new side-by-side from Can-Am and Polaris at Patriot Motorsports. Taking a look at our forecast. Not much chance of rain in the forecast for the next few days. Thursday's high looking to be around 73, a low Thursday night of 50. On Friday, a high up to 77, a low Friday night of 54. Saturday, we're going to push back into the 80s with a projected high of 81, a low Saturday night of 58. Sunday, even warmer, a high of 84, a low Sunday night of 64. And then showers back in that Monday forecast, a 40% chance a high of 80, a low of 65, up to a 50% chance of showers on Tuesday. Again, a high of 80, a low Tuesday night of 67. This birthday slid by me yesterday, and this is one of my favorite young people. Jay Patton turned 19 yesterday. Happy birthday, young man. Also, a happy birthday going out to Wilda Williams, who's celebrating a birthday on Wednesday. Please send us your birthdays at birthdays at vicksburgnews.com. A portion of your Vicksburg Daily News News Briefs is brought to you by Battlefield Drugs. Sudden service with a smile. Visit John Story and his staff today where you're not just a number, you're a friend. As always, I'm Tommy Parker. You're up to date. Please don't be my next news story. And if you do, make it a good one.